What's up, guys? We're back. Robux Talk here. Going over some more player breakdowns. Today is going to be defensive player Jamel Dean, 6'1", 206. Second year cornerback. He had one interception last year, but that one interception was huge. It was against Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers, pick six. Last year, he had, the year before that, he had two interceptions. So what happened with that interception decline, but did he improve? What did you see, Plus? Yeah, I would say he improved. I mean, the tackling numbers, as you see there, were definitely up. Uh, so I just, I thought he became a much smarter player. Uh, you could definitely see play for him. So really good job here by Jamel Dean. Yeah, just reading what's in front of him. It's nothing special. I mean, I don't know what Aaron Rodgers was thinking. Maybe he thought our secondary was the speeds, be honest about that. But now just checking out even more. How is he against the deep ball? Is he any good there? Using that length and size that he has, he's humongous. I mean, look at him compared to this wide receiver, bottom of your screen down here. He's literally bodying him gaining position, gets his hands on the ball, just doesn't come down with it. So that could have been number two. Just dropped it. What do you see here? Yeah, like you said, he's in the he's in the right spot and just showing, again, good technique. And he's so long and lanky, uh, it, it just gives him advantage. And he does have that good long speed where he can gain ground and, and make plays like this. So very good job here by contesting the football, keeping your eyes on it, and making a nice play. It was a little underthrown. I'll get that. But still, he's in – position he made a play on the ball this is just amazing i mean the ability to be this long and get your arm around without drawing a flag so he's just reading this guy's going to cut right across the middle of the field and dean's just going to go around him and knock down the ball i mean you're going to see it from two angles too plus the guy knows where he's going dean doesn't know he's going inside he has to read react and then gets his big old mitten down knocks that thing down i'll let you see it from a different angle and you can break it down a little bit more yeah, like, like you see here, again, this is a good throw by Teddy Bridgewater, but just better defense. And, and Jamel Dean with his length, you know, it just shows his ability to make plays like this. This is what he did a lot in 2019, um, and, he, and he did it again here in 2020. So, uh, and then here, you know, top of your screen, just now he's going up against a bigger guy and, and Jimmy Graham and still able to, you know, knock this ball down because of that length. The ability to reach around def, uh, offensive players, very impressive. Yeah, not drawing the flag. It's huge. And then, like you just said, bigger guy like Jimmy Graham, that's that's not a small water receiver. It's not 5'9", 189. This is a, a big man. So, I mean, to get around that, no flag, no, just getting in position to knock that thing down, really liked it. Now, this is something he never did well his first year, playing inside. Usually teams will attack him there, and they do on this play, but Dean's heady, doesn't draw a flag, gets his hands up, makes a play on the ball. What do you like? Yeah, like you said, playing in the slot is not his forte. He's not real quick twitchy as far as, you know, getting east and west. But he does a good job here of recovery. Again, that just shows, like, his length and his uh, long stride. So smart play here. Again, reverse angle. You'll see it where he can get his hands up and just, you know, reads and reacts from the receiver's, uh, you know, motion here. And it makes a nice play on the football. So it doesn't draw a flag, which is good. That's how you're supposed to play it. Now it's click and close. I mean, this is this is where he, he shines. I mean, north and south, that's where he likes to go, and he can do it really quick. I mean, putting that foot in the ground, drive forward, knock the guy out. And it's just with this guy's, everyone hates when the Bucks have this much yards in between the cornerback and the wide receiver. If you play it correctly, it works. I mean, look how far of a throw this is for Matt Ryan. That's a lot of distance. I mean, if you read what the quarterback's doing, you can get there usually in time. Dean does it, knocks the crap out of the guy. And then just looks like a, a damn linebacker slash safety playing cornerback. What do you like from him? Yeah, I mean, you you said it all. I mean, his just ability to click and close is very impressive. Getting downhill, you know, is his forte, and it, it really shows just his film study. I mean, he under he's reading this play before it happens. So just the diagnosis and play recognition is very impressive. Again, same thing here. Uh, they're going to try to run a, a little quick hitch here out outside and just reading and reacting, getting downhill fast making a nice tackle. So this was really a part of his game. And then here in the, in the screen game, uh, same thing, going to be physical, going to, you know, just push the guy out of the way make the tackle. So really good job. Unfair. I mean, Jamel Dean, who I just talked about how he's like safety slash linebacker looking like the Robbie Anderson over here trying to get in the way to block. It just gets shoved out of the way pretty much like he's not even there. And then makes a play on the ball. Like that's hustle. That's heart. That's, Knowing where to be, not letting the receiver have any chance of getting around you. Really like it, Dean doing his job. And then more, just heady. Like, how 
heady as this. I mean, this is something where probably his rookie season doesn't really get involved in the play, but here just watching the play develop in front of him and gets to the play before the screen can even be created into anything. So what do you like here? Again, yeah, like you said, just the play recognition, the diagnosis, um, you know, they have, you know, he's really just covering a space here. So he understands, okay, I got this tight end if he comes out, makes a good job of getting underneath the blocks and, and finishing the play. So really solid tackler. Um, I think that's where his improvement really came last year, just making sure tackles uh, consistently. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked his game a lot. I did think he improved a lot from his first year to second year even though the interception numbers weren't there, but you see things like this. So we're sitting in here in a zone. He's watching his old zone, his area here. He's, he's dropping back. But it's not just that level of, of football. He sees that, but also what's underneath? What's going underneath? Can I help my guys out, or am I just going to let this guy get this first down? I know I drew a lot on the board, but still, it's just being heady, using 11 working as one, team football, and just flying towards the ball. I really like that about Dean. North and South, like I said, that's his biggest area of where I feel like he thrives. Now in the running game, what do you like here? Uh, aggressiveness. Uh, just, again, just seeing the play, reading it quickly. Um, you know, he's looking at his man, but he's also looking at the football. Just comes in quickly, you know, just sees sees that it's a, uh, you know, his own read here, kind of running like an RPO action and just makes a nice play on, on, the, on the running back there and makes, you know, helps out with the tackle. I didn't finish it, but, I mean, he was there. He's there to help his team out. This one, he's going to come out of the screen out of nowhere. This is him right here. He's going to go one-on-one with Teron Armstead. So this is him sacrificing his body for the greater good of the team. So this guy's going to try and lay a block. No, he's just going to undercut it, get his own lineman in the way of, of Kamara, and then the rest of his teammates can kind of come down, hunt, and finish the play for him. So he may have not gotten the tackle, but he did create the play. Team football, really like it. Jamel Dean, I mean, he's fitting in very well in that outside cornerback position. I like how he's maturing. I mean, yes, don't put him inside. That's clean. That's clear. But other than that, Jamel Dean is maturing. I like it. Guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Do you like Jamel Dean? Do you like the video? Hit that like button if you do. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. And we always like to hear your opinions. And with that said, until the next one.